Live from the Wave Cave, it's the Star Wars Trivia Challenge. All right, guys, you heard it. We have a challenge going on, a Star Wars Trivia Challenge, and I'm joined here today with Blind Wave's Eric Whiteley and the Normie's Chris Johnson. You already know what's up. Who came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, Chris, you have uh, challenged me in Star Wars trivia during one of your Clone Wars. Uh, people right now can go check out your Clone Wars reactions, right? They can indeed go see the our Clone Wars reactions. Force is with you. <laughs> they can. Uh, so I, I've accepted the challenge. Uh, those that follow us on Instagram know that I accepted the challenge. And I'm ready. We're here. Aaron, what are we doing? Yes, we are going to be doing a Star Wars trivia. We're going to be having three rounds. Uh, 12 questions are going to be in each round. Um, we are also going to be having a few lifeline options. Now, Eric, given that you've already been involved in Star Wars trivia stuff before. Small trivia. We're right, going to be giving you a little bit of a handicap here. So you will not be getting any multiple choice options. Oh, okay. Whereas Chris will be getting some multiple choice <laughs> options so, with his. What are you going to do to me? Uh, also, there are some lifelines. Uh, each of you will get three for the whole game. So you can use one per round. You can use them all in one round, whatever you guys want to do. Okay. Um, your, your lifelines, Eric, are going to be that you will get multiple choice out of it. Oh, okay. uh, Chris, however, will get to choose between one of three, and you can choose all three of the same ones. You can do some different ones if you want to. We have Ask a Normie, which nice. we have, you have brought some, uh, some friends to help you, right? Let's hear the Normies. <laughs> so you can ask them, see what Star Wars knowledge they may have. Uh, you could ask some other uh, Blind Wave members. Which are, they're, there's, a, there's a couple of them around. Um, you also can use some Google Foo and get 10 seconds of Google searching. Now, the, this, 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 let me add, can I pre-pull up Google on my phone? I don't want the 10 seconds to be a part of me like finding Google on my, uh, there it is, all right, cool. Yes, and make sure you're connected to our Wi-Fi as we have arranged all this to not work for you. Oh, don't worry, I've already <laughs> put the uh, virus in your system. Also, I'd just like to point out, for some reason, these guys gave me a number two badge already. So, there's only two of us playing. I don't know how, I don't know what's up with this. We should say that uh, we also did a game on uh, the Blind Wave channel, uh, Reactor Feud, and it was a lot of fun. And he's already beat me today once. Maybe that Will explains that again? This well, this is still a number two. This <laughs> yeah, we're doing it twice. All right, we came here to sweep. They also beat me in Smash Bros. again, but luckily that's not getting broadcast to the internet like it did last time. All right, are you guys ready to start up with some Star Wars trivia? I'm ready. Star Wars! Chris, how uh, recently have you watched Star Wars? Uh, the movies, you mean? Yeah. Well, because we are uh, doing this in episodes one through six. Okay. Is what our trivia? Uh, the last time I watched the prequels and also the OG trilogy would have been the last time I reacted to them, which means that more fresh in my head is yeah. actually uh, Lord of the Rings. Ah, uh, so, we could do that. If you want to switch? Let's sure. switch it all. Up. I do not have Every questions. Is, is a Sildor prepared for such things? Well, first <laughs> off, we need to be getting into some Star Wars questions. Maybe Lord of the Rings next time, but we need to figure out who's going to be going first. We will decide that with a game of rock, paper, scissors. First, Sweet. first Sweet. win, we'll rock, get paper, the first shoot. question yeah, rock, paper, scissors, or shoot. can pass it. All right, to All right. let's do it. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, Big Chris, snips. you won. Do you want the first question? You want Eric to have the first question? I want the first question. You want the first question? Okay. All right, let's have some Star Wars trivia. Our first question, Chris, who shuts down the Death Star's trash compactor? Is R2, D2. Didn't even need his multiple choice. That is correct for Chris. We're on the board, baby. Point. Damn. What I, Let's do it for the C students out there. I can only lose now. <laughs> Our next question to Eric here. Yes, sir. In which African nation were exterior Tatooine scenes filmed for The Phantom Menace? You got this one. Right? Tunisia. Ah. That is correct. So one point for Eric. I knew that. I one. felt like the, the level of difficulty was a little off there. A little off, right? Yeah. He gave you countries and real world shit. I had a trash can shutting down a trash can. I feel like making him the moderator might have been a mistake because Aaron hates when I like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I like where this is going. Our next question for Chris here is, what color is the bolt of a stormtrooper's blaster when set to stun? Is it green, red, blue, or yellow? It's blue. That is correct. It's the same as everybody's, right? I believe so, yes. Except Most stuns are the little, they're actually, do you know what shape they're in? They're little circles. Little circles. Yeah, we just saw uh, Miss uh, Duchess Satine. She popped somebody with one recently. In fact, yesterday. 
yesterday. Aha. Check out some reactions from the normies. Clone and Blind Ways. We do all those. Also check out Blind Ways. We're already done. All um, right, Eric, your next question. Yes, sir. What good luck charm dangles from the ceiling of the Millennium Falcon's cockpit? That would be the Corellian Spike version of the dice for uh, for a great card game called Sabacc. It is a paradise indeed. <laughs> <laughs> there was a short way to get there and a long way. All right, Chris. Good. How yeah. many troopers fall to Princess Leia's blaster before she is captured aboard her consular ship? Is it three, one, zero, or two? Two. That is incorrect. Mm, it was first blood. She killed one before getting stunned herself. Darn. So, Can you start referring to me for the next two questions as Palpatine's grandson? Palpatine's oh. grandson. I like the way that sounds. It's going to hype me up to do better. All right. Doing we'll the voice too. Keep that in, in mind. We'll do see it. how we go here. Do it. Eric. Yes, sir. Which rebel leader explains that small one man fighters might be able to penetrate the Death Star's defenses? <clears throat> that would be General Jan Dodonna. That is correct. General Dodonna. Can we get somebody to double check that? <laughs> Never heard that name once in my entire life. <laughs> All right, for Palpatine's grandson. Thank oh, you. Oh, you know what? It does sound pretty good. Okay. What creatures attach themselves to the hull of the Millennium Falcon in the asteroid cave? Is it A, Minox, B, the Exor uh, Exogarth, the Sea Gorgs, or D, the Gizka? Hmm. Now, the answer is obvious, right? But I think that I'm gonna use a lifeline. Okay. Uh, which one would you, do you wanna use a Google Foo, ask a normie, or ask a blind one? You know what, sorry. The answer just came to me. I no longer wanna use a lifeline. <laughs> All right. The answer is whatever you say it for C. C, the Gorgs? Indeed, it's the Gorgs. It is not the Gorgs. Which one was it? The Gorgs. answer was the Minox. Ah, the Minox, which was A. Which was A, yes. I was paying attention. <laughs> you were paying attention. <laughs> Everybody knows the Minox. I'm Minox. just, I'm, I'm, I'm warming you up. We yeah, 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 yeah. Fight. Yep. All right. So we good. will go to Eric for the next question. Eric, who asks the Tidarium for its cargo and destination? Like, you want the name of the Imperial on the Death the Star Imperial 2 officer. that ask for it. Yes. That's a good question. It is. It really is. I want to say it's a man named Jad Bean. Jad Bean? Jad Bean. Uh, that is not on my answer. <sighs> I thought it was here. Jad Bean. I have Admiral Piet. <laughs> is Jad Bean a real name? For the Tidarium. Damn it. Hey, look it up. Jad Bean's an actual character. <laughs> 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 yeah, Jad Bean. <laughs> we still have a few more answers to go. You guys got two more questions each in this round. Yeah, um, is this still the easy round that you're pulling from over there? Uh, Been well, mixing it up. For uh, I may not have them by round, but I may have them by just <laughs> where I'm pulling answers from. Okay, oh, that's fine. <laughs> so, uh, here's the next one. I'm ready. All right. Here is a question for the grandson of Palpatine. Thank you. We're going to change names here for the next rounds. So All right. That has been two now. Call him Jad, done, Bean. So. Jad, Jad Bean. Jad Bean? Jad, Jad Bean. Yes. All right. What planet did Leia claim was housing the rebel base? Was it Alderaan, Tatooine, Yavin, Dantooine? Much. All right, so I know it's two of those. I know those two. I'm looking over at the uh, seats here. I got nothing going. Um, can I ask a clarification question? Is there sure. a difference between Yavin and Yavin 4? Uh, no, not in this question, no. Okay. Read the question one more time. Sure. What planet did Leia claim was housing the rebel base? Was it Alderaan, Tatooine, Yavin, or Dantooine? All right. Well, let me tell you how I know it's Dantooine. Okay. Because you said, which one did she claim? And we know that they're actually on Yavin. So she lied. She did. And so Tatooine is a planet that kind of sounds like Tatooine, and I know she didn't say Tatooine, so sure. I'm going with that one. All right, it is correct. Dantooine is the answer. The of the Woo! This you know is when great? she- like, uh... I'm such a Star Wars fan, I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm just happy you're doing so well. No, she, she lied to Tarkin. And that got Alderaan and blown then the he, shit up. He blew up Alderaan anyway. All right, Eric. Yes, sir. Two more questions for you, Jad Bean. Sorry, I <sighs> messed that up, didn't I? Never lived that down, Jad Bean. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt sends this Twilight dancer to her doom. Oh man, that's Ula. 
That is correct. Mm, Ula the Twilight. Which is a little fun fact about Twilight Ula. It's one of the only times you almost see nudity in the Star Wars universe. Oh, it is Yay. one of the most freeze-framed images of all time where you can see uh, Thimmy Taylor's nipple. Yep, <laughs> and it's blue. And if that's where you live, that's, hey, women like nipples too. Yeah. That's why men have them. See? We can all bond over Star Wars. You get tons of trivia in this <laughs> trivia contest. <laughs> all right, Chris, for your last question of round one. Mm -hmm. How many stormtroopers board the Millennium Falcon after Han asks, could you give us a hand with this? Is it three, one, four, or two? So if it's two, I don't know what they do with the rest of the bodies. It's not three, because they switch outfits and come back out. All right, so two makes sense, but four feels like the type of number that it would be. Um, which one was the ones again? Two. The, the answer is two. The answer is two. That is correct. Two. I like you applaud for yourself. Oh God. Or are you yeah. just psyching yourself up? You got I, two. Hey down there, can you give us a hand with this thing? Feels like I, uh, I jumped out of an airplane and the parachute's falling slightly above oh. me and every time I get an answer right, I get a little closer to grabbing it. I'm just so, I'm honestly rooting for it. <laughs> I land on the ground here. <laughs> All right, Eric. Yes, sir. Your final question for the round. Which species does Qui-Gon Jinn characterize as cowards? Cowards, Qui-Gon, Nemodians. That is correct. Like a new Gunray, man. He's oh, a coward. yeah, yeah. He's yeah, a coward, yeah, new right? Gunray. The Viceroy. The Viceroy. The Viceroy. They got the hats. The Nemodians are cowards. They are, they are. <laughs> that good is the end of round one. Our score is five for Eric. Four for Chris. Woo! Yeah. Pretty close here. Uh, I'd like to change my name again okay. to uh, the Gungan Thunder. Gungan Thunder. Yes. All right. We can try to, maybe we, maybe we get some Gungan questions for you maybe. too. That'd be good, right? All right. All right. Well, let's move on to round two where. Oh, we, I got it. Oh, we got it. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Oh. Mm. You're doing great. You're doing great out there. We know he's not giving it's any okay. multiple choice it's to okay. Eric, and it's kind of. <laughs> You're doing phenomenal. Keep at it. Eric, okay. you doing all right we over there? We believe in you. We believe in you. Go for the judging. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Nope. I'm hosting, yeah, so I can't help you. All right. We are going to move on to round two. This time, each answer is going to be worth two points. Mm. Two points. Two points. So, Any Chris, penalty for getting them wrong? Uh, you don't get two points. <laughs> okay. Every day. Um, every day. It's going to be hard. All right. Uh, Eric, since you have the lead, do you want the first question or the second question? Just the same amount of questions. I don't know what makes a difference. <laughs> I'll take the first question. First question. Yeah. All right. Eric, how many, engine, uh, how many engines power an escape pod from the Tantive Four? For the escape pod, not the Tantive IV. For the four. escape pod itself, not yeah. the Tantive Four. How many oh, engines man. power the escape pod? Don't forget, you do have lifelines where you can get multiple choice. Then you'll just go one, two, three, and four. Uh, and I'm maybe. already thinking of those. It could be. <laughs> you don't know uh, what the answer is. I'm going to say three. That is not correct. Damn. I don't know. The answer was four. Ah, it's four. Which was one of the answers of the multiple choice, if you would have asked. Was, if I would have went with it. Was three not one the of the answers? The Tantive Four. No, that was two. See, the Tantive Four has 11 engines. You could have asked that. I, uh, yeah, but it was I the, the, the escape. I didn't the count escape the escape pods that R2, 3PO, and they get on them, they launch off. For uh, for the they people don't who it. don't know, the ship that is the Tantive Four is the one that's kind of bulbous in the front with the long mm -hmm. shafty part and yeah. the engine's at the back, right? Yeah. It's, it's what Leia's on. When Corvette. She's, yeah. Blockade runner. <clears throat> exactly. That yes. is GR-75. From episode four. Indeed. All right, Chris. Uh, excuse or me. The Gungan Thunder. Sorry. That's fine. The Gungan Thunder. Thank you. Damn, give him an extra point just for the name. <laughs> Who convinces a death stick peddler to rethink his life? <laughs> don't even, don't even hear. I don't even know where they're at. They're on Coruscant, bro. So this is what happens, right? It's um the dude that people think Jesus is that one time. Um, Neo. Shit, man. Uh, he's like, I want to do death sticks. He's like, no, I'm doing. But he's like, oh, Obi Wan. Obi-Wan. You didn't even need the multiple choice there, did didn't you? Even. That is correct. Because that scene's hilarious. Do you know that dude's name? The guy he's selling deaf sticks to has a fucking name. His name is Elon Sleazebagia. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing, he's just like, name him whatever. Hell yeah he is. <laughs> They're jizz whalers and that's Elon Sleazebagia. <laughs> I don't have that in my card, but that could be right. I don't know. Is that a joke? No, that's his name. <laughs> He's played by Mouse from The Matrix. You know the guy? Oh. Yeah. Yes, I, that is correct. I know that part. All my stuff is coming from that far pile, isn't it? 
I don't know what you're talking about, Eric. You said you got three piles. I keep you seeing it and reach them to the left hand. We can change it up a little bit here. <laughs> see how it goes. I have a question for you, though, here. Okay. Second question of the round. Yeah. Which household powder was combined with microscopic glass bubbles to simulate snow for miniature models of Hoth? Uh, I would like a repeat. Which household powder was combined with microscopic glass bubbles to simulate snow for miniature models of Hoth? I like this question. I'm between two, but I would like multiple choice. Multiple choice, nice. all right. Is it A, baking powder, B, cornstarch, C, flour, or D, baking soda? So in between baking powder and baking soda, because the other two, I think, under the lights of the mop, the, they had to really put lights on there. They would probably not do well. I'm gonna go baking powder. <laughs> no. Damn. Baking soda? It is baking soda. Damn! Uh, I figured you were between the baking. You're thinking? I was, I was between one. the bake, baking. And I'm like, it's the- Because cornstarch and the others are gonna, they're gonna uh, you know, fuck up lights. under the lights. Yes. Damn. But yeah, they use baking soda to simulate the snow. Hmm. I'm mad I got the question wrong, but I love the question so much. It was a fun question. I like that, that one. Was a, that was a fun one. He's also picking out the easy pal for me. It's making me feel really smart. I'm really excited. <laughs> I hope you feel good. All I right. Do. Well, let's continue with another question here for the Gungan Thunder. <laughs> who said, who, uh, oh yeah. Which Jedi incapacitates the battle droid with C-3PO's head? Is it Kit Fisto, Luminara Unduli, Obi-Wan Kenobi, or Ayla Sikora? All right, so this would have had to have happened in one of the movies. The only time I think it could have happened is uh, they're in that machine plant, running around doing shit, and I don't think Ayla's there, and I don't think Lumen Armor's there, and I don't think Kid Fisto's there. What is that finger symbol even? You don't watch Star Wars. Um, I'm gonna go with, <laughs> did you say Obi-Wan anywhere in there? Uh, Obi-Wan was an answer, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan Kenobi is incorrect. For real? Yeah. This was in the arena on Geonosis, um, where uh, you were correct, there was some machinery going on. C-3PO had a battle droid head, his head was on a battle uh, droid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our Jedi friend, Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto! Force pushes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and gives his little smile. It's whenever that one? When he does a smile, that's yeah. when he does it. My wife is in love with Kit Fisto, I should remember oh, that. Nice. Uh, I should have looked at you instead of Pat, who was doing I didn't want to cheat. this, but I have lifelines. <laughs> you have lifelines. If I look at you and you know the answer, be like, okay. and I'll do a lifeline, yeah. Oh, okay. We'll move on to Eric's third question of the round. Okay. Which Star Destroyer locates the Millennium Falcon during Vader's meeting with bounty hunters? See, now there's actually some canon uh, speculation about being two different ones, but I'm assuming, thinking about how you sourced it, it's the Avenger. That is correct. Could so, also be the Stalker. Star Destroyers have names, Yeah. and they were mentioned in the movies. The but Avenger they, is named in the movie. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Huh. During the uh, Anoa asteroid belt sequence. I mean, it's like the Avengers too big to fit that asteroid belt. <laughs> Is that how it happens? All right. Are we still going with Gungan Thunder? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I got a nice change for the last round. All right. Well, Gungan Thunder, here's your third question for round two. What does the Trade Federation disrupt on Naboo just before it begins the invasion? Is it the anti-air cannons, the Gungan stronghold, the shields, or the communications. All right, here's my thinking here. So we know they do take the shields up, but that's not right before. That's like yeah. when everything's happening. So it's communications. You gotta knock out the communications first. That's the first step in a war. Okay. You that cut is off the phones. Correct. Communication disruption can mean only one thing. Invasion. Invasion. <laughs> see, see Calvin, he can be your lifeline. <laughs> but know you what, you don't need it, you got it. Doing fine. Like too Woo! good. I didn't expect you to do this well, and I expected me to do this poorly. I don't want to lose. <laughs> don't worry. For the last round, I'll take the hard answers as well. Okay. Well, let's not I'm well I'm going to be running out of different piles here. He is. Soon, he is. So right. we'll see. Eric, your fourth question. Yes. Who discovers Princess Leia's wrecked speeder bike on Endor? Ah, oh, it's my homie Luke Skywalker. That is incorrect. Who discovers Wes? I have Han Solo discovered. Damn. Yeah, Luke finds the other two back there. Shit! See, I thought it was one of the stormtroopers, <laughs> and then I was afraid that you knew the names of stormtroopers. Not on Endor. Well, I, I was very worried for yeah. a second there. Don't forget, you also have your lifelines, but you got two left. Chris, you have three lifelines left. Don't worry, for the last round, it's gonna Is be- he, I think he's two. winning. Um, well, yeah. We'll, he's, you're winning. We will tabulate well, that he's winning. soon. It feels canonically unfair. Gung and Thunder. <laughs> the Gung, Gung and Thunder. Thunder. In the lead here. You know what they say, we're number two. 
All right, <laughs> fourth question here. Who is the only Jedi to address Palpatine as Darth Sidious? Is it Yoda, Obi-Wan, Mace Windu, or Anakin Skywalker? It's Yoda. That is correct. But like, he's the only one who acts, has a fight conversation with him. Yep. I didn't even need the, the thing for that one. Good. I good. listened. Very Darth good. Sidious. All right, we got two questions left for each of you guys in this round. Okay. All right, I got I got to start. Eric has to actually start answering some off. questions right, now going in here. Gloves are off. I'm ready. All right, Eric, your fifth question here. Five. How many engines does an X-Wing fighter have? Four. That is correct. Nice. Turn it on. He's Woo! ready now for, yep. up. for the combat here. Ion engines. Uh, if you want to, you can just uh, give me the abbreviation. The abbreviation? TGT. TG. TG. TGT. Yeah. TGT. Thank you. All right, who orders rebel fighters to engage those Star Destroyers at point blank range? Is it Admiral Akbar, Wedge Antilles, General Dodonna, or Lando Calrissian? Lando. That is correct. What? <laughs> Gold leader himself. Woo! I was like, it's gotta be a silly call. It's gotta be Lando. <laughs> All right, we're on to the last questions of the round for okay. each of you guys. Eric, for the last of round two. Yes, sir. In which Central American country were the exterior shots of Yavin's Moon filmed? <sighs> Tikal, Guatemala. That is correct. Hold on. Um, Tikal, is that the city they were in? Yep. You're next for the city. You he didn't, but I needed to start. <laughs> I was feeling a little down. After I missed the engines and Jad Bean. <laughs> Jad Bean. Jad Bean, man. Jad Bean. Yeah. All right. TGT, I mean, we are soda. on to baking your- Baking soda. I got baking soda. We're on to your final question of yes. round two. Worth two points. Luke Skywalker has what call sign on patrol on Hoth? Is it Echo 2, Echo 1, Echo 3, or Echo 5? I'm looking over here to my crew. You want to use a lifeline right, on this I'm one? I'm going to use a lifeline. All right. You want right. to use an Ask a Normie one? I'm going to Ask a Normie. Uh, listen, okay. guys, Pat, Brown Pat, is over here waving at me with his bad arm, and I think he's got information I need. Pat, say it out loud. Can you give me the... Uh... The options? Yeah. The options are... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Real, real, real quick, real quick. Uh, this yeah. is yeah, yeah, the video. This makes the video. There you go. All right. All right, so for Luke Skywalker's call sign on Hoth, is it Echo 2, Echo 1, Echo 3, or Echo 5? Echo 3. Chris, do you want to go with that as an option there? Echo 3. I trust my mates. That is correct. Get out of here! Get out of here! What? Almost Echo 7. I have never seen Star Wars. I got two questions. You got two. You should. <laughs> you want to come fight Chrissy? He's got it. Right? That's yeah. yeah. All right, guys. That wraps up round two. All right. Where Top our back. totals are currently Eric with 11 points and Chris with 14 <laughs> points. Oh, my God. Wait, now. It's 11, 11 to 14. Now, we are going into round three. Round three. Each question will be worth three points. <sighs> and you still each have two okay. lifelines. Okay. Ah. ah. <laughs> He's right. All right. You still got a lot of lifelines. Man. You know, I came in here thinking like, Chris, I hear some Star Wars, but I know a lot more. I'm gonna just, I'll take it easy. I'm not taking it easy anymore, Chris. Woo! Tikwa Guatemala. Tikwa Guatemala. Chris, since you have the lead, yes. do you want the first question or the second I like second the first one? question. I'm also thinking about changing my name. What was his last name? Sleazebaggo? Yeah, Elon Sleazebaggo. Ooh, can I be a Jizz Sleazebaggio? Because I'm a Jizz Whaler and I'm also a Sleazebaggio. <laughs> All right, pop, pop question. Yeah? How does Jizz and Star Wars relate? Oh, I just said Jizz Whalers. Yeah. Like seconds ago. What do you mean I was Jizz? That's it. You just you knew that the Jizz is a actual... Yeah, they play okay. Jizz instead of Jazz. You know the name of the band that played Jizz? Is it not the Jizz Whalers? It is not. Oh, um, hold okay. on. Mm, crush the hands in a funky bunch. <laughs> Damn. You got, got it right. <laughs> I didn't know that. Jizz Whalers. What, uh, I wish their name was Jizz Whalers. What are the, what's their name? It is uh, Figurin Dan and the Modal Nodes. You were close, Chris. You were close. <laughs> you had the right idea. <laughs> Just Whaler's level. So good. I wish that was my action figure. Who? 
<clears throat> all right. All right. So all right, I'm so ready, Aaron. So uh, I'm just I just want to make sure that we're we're clear here. It's just Lee's Baggio, but we can also just after after you say it once, yeah, you can just call me JS. JS. Oh, yeah. All right. And this video is no longer Oh, J Baggio. Is, yeah, we we've lost all monetization. We're sorry. Hold this on, is have somewhat. We? This uh, Jizz is a music type. It's so a music type. If you have, your, if you have a dirty dirty mind, that's on you, Eric. <laughs> all right. So Jizz Lee's Baggio. Thank you. Using the force, which kind of weapon does Luke take from a guard in Jabba's palace? Is it a lightsaber, a vibro axe, a vibro staff, or a blaster? Blaster. That is correct. I was gonna pick blaster, and I was like, I don't know that there can be other answers, but a vibro staff, you say, yeah. and a vibro axe, which I assume are axes that yeah. vibrate. They vibrate, they cut better. Well, you know, like when you cut turkey with a vibro knife? Yeah. It's like that. Okay, mm. beautiful. All right, Eric, your first question of round three. Yes. Obi-Wan slices off Zam Wessel's blaster hand in this bar. The Outlander Club. That is correct. Is that just called the Cantina? No, it is not. It is the Outlander Club on Coruscant, lower levels. Wow. <laughs> That's where Elon Slees Baggio is at. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's just always cutting off hands in bars. So I just assumed this was the Cantina. Yep. Can't wait for the Kenobi series to come out. Uh, if you want to, um, I'm very much cool with Jay Baggio. I like the way that sounds. Jay Baggio. Jay Baggio. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Right. Jay Baggio, mm -hmm. this question is for you. How much of Han Solo's proposed 10,000 credit fee does he ask Obi-Wan Kenobi to pay in advance? Is it zero, 2,000, 5,000, or 10,000? 10, 10,000. That is correct. Advance, he asked him to baby. pay it all in advance. The reasoning is, Han Solo, bit of a sleazebaggio, he would ask for it all. <laughs> Until he gets good. And he's like, oh, he we're part of your war now. Him and Leia kiss. It's cute. She's like, I love you. He's like, I know. I will listen to this forever. <laughs> <laughs> it is my very mild amount of knowledge. This is like bar Star Wars, where I'm yeah. at a bar and people are like, you know Star Wars really well. I'm like, yeah, no, totally. Yeah. They call me Jay Baggio around the way. Jay Baggio, huh? Eric. Yes, sir. Who is designated as Bravo leader in the dogfight around the droid control ship? Bravo leader? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Let me hear it again. All right. Also, don't forget, you guys both have two yes, lifelines remaining. Who is designated as Bravo leader in the dogfight around the droid control ship? I'm gonna hear the multiple choice options. Multiple choice options are Anakin Skywalker, Poro Dolphy, Rick Oli, or Toba. Uh, Rick Oli. That is correct. I would have guessed Porkins. He's yeah. the only other pilot I know. It's about 20 years difference. Yeah. <laughs> I never know which movies yeah. we're talking about at this point, for being honest. Jay. Jay Baggio. Baggio. Yeah. What species? are the spies who uncover crucial information about the second Death Star. Is it the Bothans, Rodians, the Bith, or the Kubaz? Hmm. Now you would think it's the Kubath, but really it's I want a lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, would you want to use Google, a normie, or a blind wave member? I'm gonna use a blind wave member. Ooh. All right. Now I can't pick either of you two goons, but no. you've got extra goons on the outside. We have two. All right, with uh, Calvin or Rick? Far away, Calvin. Read the question again there. All right, Calvin, he wants to know your thoughts. What species are the spies who uncover crucial information about the second Death Star? A, Bothans, B, Rodians, C, Bith, D, Kubath. Many Bothans died bringing us this information. Oh, I've trained him too well. <laughs> Do you want to go with uh, what we have going on here? Or? Which one was that? He said A, Bothan. I'm going to go with B. No! Oh, go with... Oh, oh, no. They're setting me up! No, bro, Eric just literally... What? He's good at this. It's a setup. So you want to go with B, Rodian? No! Rodians. I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you. It's a setup. It's not! They're set! There's no way. That's a trap. It's not. I'm going to go with A now. All right, you want A, B, C, or D? I want A. You want A, Bothans? You want A. Is that I want your, A. Is that you your want A. I feel like in this situation with all this Bothans. chaos, the is that Bothans. your final answer? Yes. That is correct. That is correct! Oh, that's the They're playing mind games, man. Oh, yes. ah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> I thought the, the quote felt too good. I was like, oh man, that quote sounds really real if it's not real. <laughs> Eric. Yes. Your third question of round three. Gotcha. Qui-Gon Jinn enters Watto's shop in search of parts for what model of ship? It is a... You can use a lifeline. J Type 327 Nubian Star Cruiser. Holy, holy shit. That is correct. <laughs> what, the hell? what? What was that? Uh, One more time. Nubian, eh? J Type is the shape of it. Yeah. Uh, 327 is a Star Wars number. It shows up all the time. And then Nubian for Naboo. It goes from Naboo. All right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Woo! Uh, they're really softballing them in here to you, I see. And they're trying to get a part for a T14 hyperdrive, by the way. Just letting you know. There All you right, go. the shackles are coming off. Plenty I need of information to here. I'm still losing. Make sure you're paying attention. Maybe that's a question later on. So. Ah, yeah. All yeah. right. JB, can I call you JB? Is that good? Can we do J Beasles? J Beasles. All right. So Sir J Beasle here. How many films feature scenes of Tatooine out of from episodes one through six? Right. So those are the six movies we're looking at. How many of those movies feature scenes with Tatooine? Is it five? Six, four, or three? Four. That is incorrect. Oh. It is five. What? What are The only one not to show Tatooine would be Empire Strikes Back. We have episode one where you find Anakin. Yeah. We have episode two where he goes back to find his mother, kills off some Tusken Raiders. Uh, we have episode uh, three where Obi-Wan drops off young ah! Luke Skywalker. That's the one I discounted because I was like, yeah, they're not tattooing any on that one. You're and then, of course, we start off with episode six yeah. and episode four both around. Oh, tattooing. thank God I need you to miss a question. All right. Four was the obvious. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I did not think I was going to feel this way. <laughs> Eric, your fourth question ah, for round three. Okay. Which pilot has the call sign Red Six during the Battle of Yavin? Red six is Jack Tano Porkins. That is correct. Porkins doesn't die? I thought Porkins died in the first movie. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not saying, that's from the Battle of Yavin. That's the oh, first movie. Yeah. All right, cool. You were right. Yeah, I feel good. Porkins, yeah, that's the homie. Jack. That's a homie. Also, you know, I didn't know his first name was Jack because everyone <laughs> Jack. calls him Porkins. Porkins. Because George Lucas is me. How many more questions do we have left? I feel like I need one more name change. Uh, you <sighs> have, you each have two more questions left. Here. Two more questions. Woo! Yeah. Um, Let's go, Chris. Hmm. Something with Darth. Oh, easy. Darth Fisto, please. Darth Fisto, okay. Yes, Going with that, one. the answer you missed earlier. Jedi Master Kit Fisto. No, Kit Fisto. All right. My guy. Should I have listened to Pat. I got it right. Pat looks like he's lamb. Though. All right, Darth <laughs> Fisto here. Like Who does Luke believe is too small to run away? Is it Wicket, Salacious Crumb, R2D2, or Yoda? Oh, damn. This is another easy one. Turns out I know Star Wars. It's one of them little teddy bear boys, the Ewok kids, and his name's Wicked. It's too small to run away. That is not correct. Damn it! I the thought answer, it was a teddy bear. <laughs> the answer is R two D two. During Episode four, he's move. He's removing the. Uh, oh, the uh, restraining restrain bolt. The restraining bolt. Also, God, you only know R two D 2s name because you mildly know Star Wars. Get out of here. <laughs> Put you under the Christmas well, tree. Like, uh, present. All right, Eric, your fifth question. Okay. We have two more for you here. Two more. Which faction relies on the mechanically enhanced Tehau to pilot its flagship? That would be the Trade Federation. That is correct. That was the easy one. Tehau. Yeah. Yeah. They're going up the ventilation shaft. That's him. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Do I get points for impressions? I feel like I've done a couple. We're on the ventilation shaft. Do you know that this could be a fever dream and you could have lied about most all of these answers? How do you know? I, like, how do you know I haven't? I don't know. <laughs> you're that good of an actor? How do you know you're awake? Oh, well. How do you know you're what awake? What was in the food? <laughs> <laughs> Just hooked up into the blind wave matrix. You guys uh. want me to think I'm winning? All right, Chris, for your last question of round three, which planetary system is found to have been purged from the Jedi archives? Is it... Camino, Geonosis, Nemodia, or Dagobah? The answer is, this is my last answer, right? This is your last answer. Now, if we tie, we will have some sudden Ooh, death. Right. Okay, I don't want to Google, I know the answer. But also, Pat has his hand up, so. 
Can I jump to the phone to uh, see you wanna, Pat you, again? Yeah. You, wanna, you wanna go to Pat and see what we have here? Ask yeah, Norman. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna ask a Norman, ask but a also Norman. I'm gonna get Pat on video for this one. Uh, hey, Pat. Um, can you can you tell us what the answer is? But can I get the, you want the question? Right he wants the question again. Yeah. Like you know what he even means. I do. Which what? which planetary system is found to have been purged from the Jedi archives? Is it Kamino, Geonosis, Nemodia, or Dagobah? B. B. Geonosis. Geonosis. All right, Chris, it's up to you now. Do you go? The answer is Kamino. The answer is Kamino. That is correct. That's correct. It's Our where path. they get the Two clones from. He doesn't trust you? I'm See? sorry. <laughs> 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 I'm glad you trust me. Oh, you're testing me, yeah. I like that Pat's not playing and he's exclusively talking shit. He's just. Yeah, I love the, the confidence. He has his hand up. And right? He has to ask for the question. I love it. <laughs> All right, well, this seems good. Okay, this is my last one, right? Eric, you this think will it be seems good. Okay. your last question. All right. What species are the creatures seen fighting over a bone while Anakin enters a Tusken Raider tent? You really tried to fuck with me on this one, didn't you? But you won't. They're massives. That is correct. Massives? Massives. massives. And I'm playing Mass Effect 2 right now. Twitch.tv slash blind. Check me out. <sighs> All right. <laughs> That will wrap up three rounds. All right. Guys, after three rounds, we have the scores tallied. And we have Chris with 26 points. Five points. And Eric with 29 points. Ooh, <laughs> oh, my God. It's so close. It's too close. Tiebreaker. <clears throat> Tiebreaker? <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, I mean, that leaves us with Eric winning out. Uh, that All was right. our last one. We had a sudden death in case you guys tied. But can we get one of the sudden death questions just out of pure curiosity? You want a, you want a couple more questions? We have five sudden death things. We, can we go have five through. sudden death questions. Yeah. Sure. All right, let's do the sudden death. I mean, is the game over? <gasps> what the oh, hell? Oh wow! Thanks, Rick. What number's on this? Oh, nothing. Is that like the medal that you get? It yes, is. it's the medal. Ah. Medal of bravery. So if I had a one, I'd have got one of these. You would have got a medal of bravery. Do you already just have had this waiting to give it back to yourself? <laughs> yeah, it was on Green Arrow upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I'm shocked that it came down to three points. Yeah, I, I want to say how well you did. I didn't expect it. I've seen your Clone Wars reactions. You're not that good. <laughs> Roasted. Uh, I'm screaming at my phone. No, it's not what he said. Oh, see, you're like the rest of the internet. Yes. I would like to let you guys know that yeah. I, the false confidence that I have, I'm keenly aware it's false confidence. I just do it. She's it's gonna say false. some shit. You just gotta be like, that's what the answer is, and roll with it. Uh, I appreciate that the answers were so easy. Uh, I appreciate that Pat got two of them right, and I almost got one of them wrong. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, this has been fun. I really thought that like I was gonna come here and he was gonna be like, you know, how many, how many lasers are on a dreadnought? Oh, dog. I don't know, two maybe, and you're, <laughs> the answer is 56, obviously. So we didn't get there. I love the idea that they have 56 lasers and they have to put a laser in and shoot it off. Like, we're out of lasers. We're out of lasers. <laughs> How many lasers they got there? We're out. No more. <laughs> well, right. this has been fun. You think uh, maybe the next time we do this, maybe somebody else here on your team is an expert at something mm. knowledgeable that, you know. I mean, I love Lost. I know that. Do you have someone on your team that likes Lost? Oh, oh, it's me, actually. You like Lost. Maybe yeah. we could do Lost next time. It's one of my favorite shows. I don't know uh, if you know this, but Michael Giacchino does the music. I feel shaking over on that side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Serge is about to come over here and just elbow drop He does, in Star Wars Connection, he does uh, Rogue One's music as well. Oh. Oh, how about that? Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, we do need to find some more trivia things. This was a lot of fun. It was. It was surprisingly mm -hmm. fun. I like, uh, like getting a, it, it feels like a Mario Kart. Yeah. Mario Kart. Yeah, because like I'm way in the back to just start off already, so I get all the little the little get like a blue turtle shell. Yeah, I get blue turtle or, shells. Uh, I get all sorts of stuff to just like try to trip you up. That's really that's a strategy. Yeah. Eric, next time y'all are a blind wave. I yeah. Got you. I got okay, you. we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> all right. Do you guys want some other questions and stuff? We have a few more yeah. questions we have. Yeah. You want to do like a speed round, see who gets it first? Yeah, let's do a quick uh, speed, yeah, speed round, round. But also, then once we're done with that, stick around because we're gonna be talking about what the loser has to do. All right. All right. Hey, editor, uh, Dustin and or Eamon, I don't know, it's both of you. You're gonna put a little buzzer sound here when we hit the buttons. I assume you know what that means, but I'll give you an example. 
Ooh, or maybe like an R2 D2 beat. Ooh, beep, boop. Jar Jar sound. Oh, Jar Jar sound it is. Oh. Misa! Misa! <laughs> I like it. We can do that. All right. All right. Well, Rick will track how many you guys get right so we can just see how you guys do in the speed round. We'll ask uh, 10 questions, see who gets the most right at the end. Okay. Uh, will be no multiple choice. And I'll watch to see. And Rick will help me decide too who hits the uh, buzzer first. And we have our first question. How many toes does a Gungan have on each foot? Chris. Three. Three is correct. <laughs> <laughs> what, is the f what is the first beast in the Geonosian ex- Eric. Rick. Incorrect. Oh, no. Do you want to finish the, the question? question? What is the first beast in the Geonosian execution arena to die? Uh, the Rancor. <laughs> that is incorrect. The answer I was looking for was the Nexus. Nexus. I need to finish the question, Eric. Come on. It was the first one that came in. Yeah. That is correct. It was. <laughs> Which character is portrayed as a puppet in Phantom Menace, but by a costume actor in the other five films? C-3PO. C-3PO is correct. Because you can see his naked parts. My oh. parts are showing. <laughs> Who does Jango Fett claim recruited him on one of the moons of Balance? Oh, Chris. 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 All right, Chris. Jango Fett was recruited by Darth Sidious. That is incorrect. I Eric. was recruited by a man named Tyrannus on one of the moons of Bogdan. Is that right? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> if you say it in that voice, I'm gonna believe it's right. <laughs> so I wouldn't need to clarify if it is or not. Make sure you watch except, the reactions. Except, except for count. <laughs> All right. Who is the governor of Naboo during the Trade Federation? I believe that was I Eric. Had Eric. Had Eric. CEO Bibble. Eric, Chris, do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> is that the fat frog name? It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that him? <laughs> Seal Bibble is correct. Yeah, he's the guy that's he's the like communication. Invasion. He's the communication guy talking about the invasion. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Seal Bibble. I was thinking of the Elder Gungan. <laughs> that's Boss oh, Nass. Oh, that's Boss Nass. Rugor. Boss Nass, yes. Yeah, yeah. How many years does it take a growth accelerated clone to reach the virtual? <laughs> Eric? 10. That is correct. <laughs> the that's virtual what I was say. age of 20. <laughs> No matter what it is, I'm hitting it this next time. I'll give a fuck. I can, I'll get it. Who is in charge of the Naboo Royal Security Forces? I have Chris first. All right, um, Chris. All right, it's the one dude. He's like the one black guy in space yep. in that episode. And he's, you know the dude. He's got the fucking cool hat. He's the one black guy. You don't know his name? And his name is... Oh. Bobo Frick. <laughs> Bobo Frick. <laughs> that is incorrect. Shit. Eric. Uh, Korsh Panaka. <laughs> I would have accepted Captain Panaka, Captain but yes. Panaka. That, hey, but of he, course you know his Korsh, first name. His, the actor is, is Hugh Corshi, and they named him Korsh Panaka. George Lucas did a great thing for this man. Because of and course you, you also know, know the actor's know name. name. Well, everybody go look up Korsh Panaka. Korsh Panaka. On what does Boosh hit his head while sneaking around Jabba's palace at night? <laughs> Eric? Like a, like a tassel in... Wind chime. Wind chime is correct. Wind chime. Is Boosh the, the reptile guy? Boosh is the uh, oh, bounty Boosh. hunter that Leia portrays in Jabba's Palace oh, in Episode Six. Oh, okay. Yeah, Boosh. This is Leia in a costume. Why do you call her Boosh? That's, That's yeah. the name of the character. Yeah. All right. What does the vehicle abbreviation AT AT stand? <laughs> Chris. All terrain attack. Tank. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shit. All-terrain armored transport. There you go. You were close though. The all-terrain is is correct. I mean, it's yeah, also it's an a attack tough tank. One. You say AT-AT or AT-AT? You say AT-AT. You say AT-AT. What do you call an ATST? You want an ATST? Oh, are the ATSTs the chicken walkers? Yeah. Yes. That's called chicken walkers. You, you call them chicken, mm -mm. chicken walkers? Well, there's chicken walkers and there's AT-AT. Yeah, that's true. Sure. Okay. Possibly the final question then here for okay. sudden death. When preparing for Come on, When preparing for If you to give me like two more words, you might you might have actually got I know, me. but I thought this would be funny. No, I regret it. When preparing for Did we guess this? Land at command sector five one five. 
That is cr- wrong. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. All right, Chris, we will let you get a chance here. When preparing for an underwater outing on Naboo, Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan equipped these. Breathers. Sure, do you know any more about it? The whole word. Bubble breathers. You got it. Eric, what do you got? A99 Aquata Rebreathers. Are you fucking kidding me? Bubble breathers. <laughs> yeah, I'll fight some bubble breathers. <laughs> There what was go. the answer? The answer is A99 Aquata Breeze. Ah! So does Eric get that point? Uh, no, no, he does I not get that point. Not at all. I shouldn't have. If he'd have waited for the underwater part, I think he might have been able to figure it out. But I, I really tried to work hard for the three words you gave me. <laughs> I was thinking like Mace Windu, 515, this might be it. I've always been so happy if it happened. Damn. Damn. But Aquata Rebreathers is also. Sadly, Good no. Job. Sadly, you know, no. The bubble. Yeah. That was fun. I like the speed round. Good. Well, I should have done that the entire time. You could have, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still have all these questions not. I didn't get the answer. Uh, all right. So, uh, seven to one. Seven to one? Seven right. to one. That was the no, final score. I got score. seven, right? Right? If In that, sure. So guys, I lost, which we have loser conditions, all right? Yes. One is when you see me out in public, you can say, Hey, little Star Wars bitch, and I'll be like, yeah, that's me. But it only happens if you see me in public. Don't say it on the internet. Hey, Palpatine's grandson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> um, but also, I'm... For every... For the we reaction dis- we, we to Boba this. Fett. We, yeah, we discussed For the action... The reactions to Boba Fett, I will be telling people where they can go see real Star Wars professionals talk at. And also, for the first episode, I have to wear their merch. Ah, oh, feels good. Feels good. It feels good. Well, make sure we'll plug so we can people can see that and then come back to Blindway. But make sure you guys are subscribed to the Normies. You're on the Normies channel right now. Yeah. Subscribe, like this video, and yeah, go check out Blindway's Book of Boba Fett. Well, you guys I'm starting it now. You're starting it now. I'm starting now. Get in early. This is a lot of fun, sir. I liked it too. Thank you know, so I don't much. like you guys that much, but this was fun. You guys are cool, I guess. Me? Whatever. Oh. All right. <laughs> And that wraps up all of our Star Wars Trivia Challenge. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.